Hello everyone, my name is Kusho, and I would like to announce that I'm going to create my own YouTube series. It's going to be called Outside the Map. And in this series, we are going to obtain some original Xboxes. I'm going to find the best way of capturing the footage, whether it be through audio and video cords, or if I get an HDMI adapter and go through a, a more modern capture card. But... The main reason I'm doing this is because throughout all my history of playing Halo, I would have to say one of the times I enjoyed most was when Halo 2 came out on Xbox Live on the original Xbox. And the experience I got talking to everyone, meeting people, and like discovering the little secrets that were hidden in these multiplayer maps and glitches you could do to climb to the top or get past the boundary line that they wouldn't allow you to get past. There was two different versions of Halo 2. One was on the original Xbox and they had a second release of Halo 2 on the PC which came out for when Microsoft decided to release a new operating system called Windows Vista. Now Halo 2 Vista was slightly altered to, you know, make it more of a clean game, get rid of the, some of the super bounces and some of the more major glitches, but it also took away a lot of the fun that I had in my experience with Halo. So what I'm going to do in this video is we're going to get outside of the map on MCC, which is running on the Halo 2 Vistas engine. The primary episode will consist of on the original hardware, so we will actually be repeating this glitch but it'll be much later into the series. This is just like a announcement for the series and help me get prepared for editing and releasing a nice product. Cause I would like to immortalize some of this content because a lot of people d never got to experience the original halo two on Xbox live. They don't know of any of these glitches. They've never seen them. They've never heard of them, but super bounces and, that's a permanent part of the history of this game and I would like to do my best to put it out there so people can find it and relive the experience with me. Now, in order to do this glitch, not only do you have to be on the correct map, which is coagulation, but you need to make sure that you have the correct settings on. For instance, the only player type body that can actually get past the boundary line is the elite. So you have to change from being a Spartan to the elite. So you got to make sure that you are an elite. Make sure that the correct vehicle is on the map, which is going to be the Spectre. I'm not sure exactly why only this vehicle and map will allow it, but those that's the only way I know of getting past the boundary line. If anyone else knows a different way of getting past the boundary line, please let us know in the comments section down below. Let's see. Some other things I'd like to change. get that feel that old school feel of when I would play this a lot of these weapons were necessary in order to do some of the glitches so we'll be authentic to what experience you guys are gonna be seeing get the correct weapon sets and overshield and all that now this is the only time I normally ever play as an elite, is just to do this single glitch. I'm not a huge fan of playing as an elite. I, I do feel that Slayer. it should be in the game for those who want to play as an elite. But for me, I, I never really liked the way its hands looked on the guns or its body shape was when you're getting shot. It seemed like you were at a disadvantage when you were playing as an elite like you're easier to get a headshot off on I don't know it could I could be wrong but that's the way I felt at least now in order to do this glitch 
you would have to go up to this wall over here and you have to like boost up and like not stop boosting until you get all the way up there. Okay, in order to do this glitch, the best way is to boost directly at it. Maybe tap the jump button slightly to lift the nose of your specter if you find yourself running into the wall. You want to keep your vehicle's bottom like connected to the ground at all times so you don't lose your position. You want to come up to this corner, get, out, get the specter outside the line as much as possible, and then right, right there. If the vehicle's aligned and you are an elite, you will now have been pushed through the border, the boundary line, and you are now outside the map. Behold, the great beyond. Now, doing this glitch always is a special thing to me because this map was one of my favorite maps ever. The original Blood Gulch map was something I spent a lot of my time playing as a kid, and I always wondered what it would be like to get outside the map, and then when Halo 2 came out, and I, I discovered this glitch, it was magnificent. It made me reconsider everything about the game, and I, I went on to exploring other maps that I could get outside of, and it really became one of the best times I had with Halo and multiplayer is just joining custom games and learning from other people of how to get outside all the maps. I'd mentioned to like someone in a matchmaking game, hey, I know how to get outside of something. They'll either say they don't know how and I'll show them or they will know about that and they'll be like, well, hey, did, did you know you could get outside of this map as well? And I'd be like, nah. And we'd go into custom games and that's how you'd learn how to get outside of all the maps. Custom games is really exciting during this time because it was like the first time you're ever playing with people on the internet on Xbox. You would run into all types of crazy people that would could just really like teach you a lot about the game. A lot of crazy game types such as like zombies was invented in the custom games. Like, there wasn't any way to, like, force someone to, like, change teams. But if you weren't changing teams when you were killed by the zombie in, on green team with the energy sword. Because everyone would spawn with the same, like, a uh, energy sword and a battle rifle. And every time you'd spawn, you'd have to, if you were the zombie, you'd have to carry the sword. Or switch to the sword right away. So, if you didn't play by the rules, you got quickly booted, so... If you didn't want to get booted and you actually wanted to play the game, you had to listen to everyone and follow the rules. It was kind of cha chaotic, but at the same time, you'd be surprised at how many people will listen to play like a fun game type. I've heard of other crazy game types like Cops and Robbers and like Halo 3 and stuff like that, but... Probably the most memorable time was when Zombies was invented in custom games back in Halo 2. It was, it was a game changer for me. I really enjoyed that. I was like, wow, you don't need matchmaking games. You just need friends to play these games with. I always kind of wish that Halo 2 had, like, AI bots, though. Just because you can't always expect all your friends to be a big fan of Halo. Especially because Halo is, like, one of those games where it's like, if you're not very good at it, you know, no, they're not really having that great of a time because they're the one who's dying over and over and over, and it's not as enjoyable. So there's definitely a huge skill gap for Halo. But basically, you can explore all around outside this map. It's more fun when you have a lot of people out here and you teach a bunch of people how to do it. It's pretty much just a desert out here, though. Nothing special. It's just, you know, you can finally see the void of where the map actually ends, which is really kind of crazy to think about.
So don't be nervous if you fall off and you think you can't do it. Just try over again. Then you kind of like line yourself up at this corner, have your specter halfway outside the map. And if you're the elite, you fucking kidding me. That's what editing's for.